Hi, I'm Neil Fisher with Weldworks Brewing Company, here with your craft beer and brewing tip of the week. Um, the problem with peanuts, and especially peanut flour, is separating the beer from the peanut. Uh, we add whole peanut flour to any of the beers we work with peanuts, and uh, it does essentially create a peanut butter type uh, substance at the bottom of your tank. So trying to clean that tank and empty it, and even trying to rack the beer off of that kind of peanut cake um, can be difficult. So. Um, we, we always add it and make sure that we rotate racking arms. You can do the same with a um, transfer, you know, just make sure that you're racking off of the, the part of the tank where the peanuts settled out above that point so you don't transfer a lot of the kind of peanut trube and, and uh, peanut paste that, that comes from adding peanut flour. The other considerations when you're talking recipes, um, peanut is, is subtle, and so if you're looking for that peanut butter um, you may want to consider adding some other malts that have a nuttier kind of characteristic. Um, Victory malt, biscuit malt, even Munich. Um, something with a, a pronounced kind of nuttiness will help accentuate that peanut character of the actual peanut addition. Um, and if you're looking to make a peanut butter and jelly beer, um, consider what, you know, obviously you're going to add fruit, but consider maybe a fruit forward uh, fermentation. Uh, maybe a more ester-driven um, yeast strain so that you can kind of complement a berry character with a berry, um, you know, an actual berry addition and your peanuts. Um, so intentionality, again, when you're designing the recipe and knowing what your finished flavor, what you're going for, can be the difference in a, a really well-executed beer and a beer that falls a little flat. To learn more about brewing with and preparing adjuncts, click the link below.